Hi, and welcome to Camille's Country Corner. I am Camille, and on today's episode, we will be making two delicious recipes. The first one we're gonna be making is an apple butter bundt cake, and the second one will be some delicious homemade chocolate chip cookies. All right, let's get started. I'll show you what you need for both recipes, but we're gonna start with the bundt cake first because that takes the longest. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, let's get started. For our apple butter bundt cake, we will need, of course, some flour and some sugar. We're gonna use some butter, baking soda, ground nutmeg, cloves, ginger, baking powder, two eggs, apple butter. We've got some chopped pears in the back, which you can definitely use apples. I'll explain that later. And some pecans. All right, let's get started mixing up this recipe. For this recipe, we're gonna go ahead and grab a bowl for all of our dry ingredients. All right, we're gonna go ahead and mix up two cups of flour in this bowl. We need two teaspoons of baking soda. No, I'm sorry, two teaspoons of baking powder. Correct me. We need a half of a teaspoon of the baking soda. One teaspoon of cinnamon, which I forgot to grab. Sorry about that. So cinnamon definitely goes into this recipe. I just forgot to grab it. We need one teaspoon of cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Sorry, again, I'm off on my measurements. Uh, oh no, I said it, a quarter teaspoon. That is correct. Quarter teaspoon of ginger. Quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just using some kosher salt here. All right, we're just gonna stir that up just a tad. Now for our wet ingredients, I am going to add one cup of regular granulated sugar. I always feel like I'm totally prepared, ha ha. All right, we need two sticks of butter in here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I am using salted butter because that's usually what I buy. And we have these two sticks of butter at room temperature. Makes it much easier to mix. In the meantime, I am going to crack two eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and add those one at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape everything down. And I have some apple butter here. My sister has made this apple butter and brought it to me last fall and I have yet to use it and I thought this would be a perfect time to use this if I can get it open. There we go. All right, so we need about a half a pint so I'm gonna use about half of this jar. I kind of feel like, what size is this jar? This is hmm, not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and use it all. 
it doesn't seem like it's that much. It looks like maybe it is about a half a pint. All right, let's go ahead and mix that up. You can definitely buy apple butter at the store. They do sell it. All right, I'm gonna turn my mixer to low and I'm gonna slowly add in the flour. Our dry mixture, not just flour. <laughs> a bunch of my flour went down the side. Let's clean that up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna scrape my bowl one more time because I see some stuff that's not mixed up on, on the bottom. We don't want pockets of butter everywhere. All right, and right here I have chopped up two cups of pears. Now, this is an apple butter cake recipe. However, I have all these pears that I canned up last fall and I need to use them up. And if you don't have apples, which I don't right now, um, this is the perfect time to use up pears if you have them because it's, those are definitely in season right now for me. So I am going to go ahead and add two cups of chopped pears. Like I said, I canned these up myself and I'm gonna add about a half a cup of pecans. All right, this is a fairly thick batter. Now I have greased and floured my bunt, which this is a, it just says Food Network on it. It's your typical size bunt pan. I'm not sure exactly what size it is, but any bunt pan will do here. Let me take this out of the way. All right. Let's go ahead and scoop this in. Oh, this pan, this bowl is heavy. That's a lot of mix. All right, I have had my oven preheating at 350 degrees. So it is up to temperature now. We are going to bake this for approximately an hour. In the meantime, we are going to whip up our next recipe, which is chocolate chip cookies. All right, I'll bring you back once this is done. One hour, 350. Hey there, so the audio for this clip definitely got somehow muted, but just to finish off this cake, once it came out of the oven, it's golden brown, toothpick clean. I'm just putting some caramel, salted caramel sauce on the top of it. You can put whatever you'd like. This one kind of fits the vibe of uh, fall in the apple butter, in the pears, and all of those warm spices that we put on the inside of the cake. But this one is definitely a true favorite here, and we will be tasting this at the end. But this is your bunt cake when you make it, so you can do glaze, caramel, um, anything else that you feel like would be the best on your bundt cake. Even if you don't want to dress it up, that's perfectly fine. This is perfect for a warm cup of tea, some coffee, and just hanging out, having a little fall treat. For the chocolate chip cookie recipe, you will need two sticks of butter, of course some chocolate chips. We need flour and sugar, brown sugar, baking soda, some salt, and a couple of eggs. Let's put this cookie mix together. All right, let's get started with our cookie recipe. So to our bowl, we're gonna go ahead and add our two sticks of butter. I am using salted here. And 
All right, and then three quarters each of our brown sugar and our granulated sugar. Let me get some measuring utensils out. You would think I would be prepared. Okay, half and a quarter, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. I'm using dark brown sugar here. It really doesn't matter. Go ahead and cream together your butter and your sugars. To this, we're going to crack in two eggs. Let me go ahead and scrape down our bowl. All right, to our dry mixture, we are going to do two and a quarter cups of just all purpose flour. You can use whatever kind of flour you want here. If you want some gluten-free cookies. All right, we need one teaspoon of baking soda. And we need a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just using some kosher salt here. Go ahead and mix that around. And we also need a teaspoon of vanilla. This is just my homemade vanilla made with vodka and vanilla beans. All right, we're going to go ahead and start adding our dry. And then it says to add two cups of chips here. I'm gonna just go ahead and add a whole 10 ounce bag. It's probably two cups. You can add nuts here if you want. Today, I'm going to leave them out. Okay, they're ready. Let's get our sheets out and put them on our sheets and into the oven, which is now preheating at 375. Okay, so I have my cookie sheet lined with parchment paper, and I'm just gonna use two spoons. I don't have a cookie scoop. And I put them probably about three to four inches apart because they do spread. All right, I'm gonna put this in the oven. We're gonna do this for at 375 for nine minutes. And I'll bring you back when they are done. All right, friends. This is what it looks like when they are all done. How delicious do those look? All right. Shall we try our apple butter bundt cake? Oh my goodness. How decadent and delicious. Oh my God, this is so good. With that salted caramel on top. Oh, and that pecans, those nice warm spices and the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the clove, and the little pieces of pear in there. Oh my God, this is delicious. I hope you try this recipe. Oh my gosh. And who doesn't like warm chocolate chip? Ooey gooey cookies. Oh my gosh. Divine. They're classic for a reason. I need to sit down and finish this plate of loveliness. And I hope that you try these recipes. And I hope that you enjoyed being here with me today. We are definitely getting gearing up 
for the holidays coming around the corner. You know, it is September, beginning of September. So all those fall recipes will be coming out here soon. And I hope that you will continue to watch. All right, guys. I'm glad you came by here today. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. Definitely hit that like. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.